Hi kids. My name is Brian. I'm a geologist from Sudbury, Ontario. And somebody very special to me told me that you guys were studying one of my favorite subjects, rocks and minerals. That very special someone is Aria. She's my niece and I'm her favorite uncle. So I thought I'd take you guys along for a little trip today underground with me to show you where we get all the metals from. Before we go, I wanted to show you a couple of things here. Okay kids, we got a flashlight, we got a paper clip, we got a knife, and we got some scissors, and we've got my ring. What do all of these things have in common? I know everybody uses them. I know you've seen a paper clip. You've used scissors before. You've probably used a knife before and maybe even a flashlight. These things are very important to us. And they help us in everyday tasks. The one thing that they all have in common is that they're made from materials that come from ore minerals. Ore minerals are found underground. So as a mine geologist, it's very important for me to understand these ore minerals and where they come from. So I'm going to show you what they look like before they become this. You may have seen these before. Here we go. So these are some of my favorite things. These are called sulfide minerals. They're shiny. They look very much like metal but they're not metal yet. These are ore samples that are made up of sulfide minerals. And this is where we get the metal from. Calcopyrite me mineral, that is kind of the yellowy color. We've got the brown minerals. This is where the nickel comes from. That's a pentlandite mineral. We got some more cool looking sulfide minerals. This one here has been polished up. All these started their life in the ground and we've brought them to surface to get the metal out of them and that's what they become. So it's important that we look for these things and we understand them so that we can help turn them into the things that we need every day. These are just some of the small things that we have that are made from the metals that come from the earth. I'm going to show you today where they come from. Come along with me and we're going to go on a trip and have some fun. See you soon. This is how a mine geologist starts their day. We hop in a jeep and we head underground. of the mine you just fell the portal. Thank you. 
surface world. Jumping into the video with a cartoon section to show you the mine, ore deposits, and all the tunnels through the rock we've built to get to them. Here's a picture of the CN Tower to show you how deep we are. The next time you look up the CN Tower, just think about how far underground the minerals are. Now watch the blue line to follow our path from surface all the way down to 4,000 feet. The red dots on the screen point out the underground tunnels, and the circles are placed where all the minerals are found. So guys, we're on our first stope. The stope is where we get all the ore that's been blasted out of the mine. This is where big machines grab the ore and bring it to surface. This is where all the metal comes from. Say hi, Derek. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> There's my buddy Anthony.
friend Jeremy is fixing the pump to help get rid of the water. of the ore that's coming out of this area. You see all the shiny stuff. That's where all our metal comes from. The type of metal that goes into your forks and spoons, your pots and your pans, and even batteries. Well guys, it's the end of our underground adventure. Time to head back up the surface. Let's go. Well done for the day. Thanks Anthony.